My Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. And I want to take this moment to say thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for your prayers. This is Dr. Moray and my brother, my sister. You know, every time I say, sometimes I want to say, Doc, you know, Dr. Moray Yawushi. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Okay, and um, uh, and so, and I hope, I hope, I hope you you remember Dr. Murray Yoshi Yahu. I hope you remember him because my brothers and sisters, um, he's fighting a battle, you know, out there in California as he share his word. You know, you know, and he come up against all kind of obstacles. You know, people, you know, always out, you know, to criticize and say things that. You know, try, but but look here, he, he's a man of Yahuwah, and it doesn't matter what people say, matter what people do, they cannot bring him down. Only Yahuwah can do that, and he's doing Yahuwah's will, and Yahuwah's not going to bring evil to him. Yahuwah going to bless him abundantly and bless all the people, bless his family, his children, and uh, you know. So my brother, my brother. Uh, you know, uh, we're not blood brothers, but we could have been the way, or, you know, our relationship, uh, you know. So we just want to continue to pray for him and bless bless his, the work that he's doing, you know, and for Yahoo. And he's blessed this ministry so many times, so many times he blessed this ministry. Financially, my brother, my sisters, he blessed this ministry. And um, so let me say this, that we thank you. We thank you for everything you do. You know, every single thing you do for the kingdom, you know, we thank you. So, we come back to Psalm, you know, Psalm 38, and we're dealing with, you know, the, um, the man, right? That Psalm 38, we talk about the man prays in pain, the man in pain. He is in pain, and he prays. This David is in, is in pain. But my brother and my sisters, he does not, you know, allow the pain or the trouble, the struggle that he's going through to push him away from the whole, you know. And, and many times when we're going through difficulties, we, we tend to want to, um, you know, just say, look, throw in the towel. No, Yahweh doesn't want us to do that. He wants us to continue to serve him regardless of how things are, right? Regardless of the situ situation, my brother and my sisters. He want us to serve him. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. So, you know, as we look in 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 in, in this passage, um, we, we're going to just, you know, try to glean glean from it. Okay, just let's glean from from his word, my brothers and my sisters. You know, glean from his word. You know, glean from his word. Um, so in verse 7, this is what he said. For my lines are filled with loathsome disease. Oh my goodness. Loathsome disease. His loin. It, 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 when he talk about his, his loin, is filled. I mean, what is, his stomach. His innermost being. <laughs> you know, you know his, his whole life is messed up. This is what I'm trying to, he's trying to say here. Because of what he has done. He said, okay? All right. And I want us to look at the word loathsome here, though. Because the, the, the word loathsome is, you know, gala, gala. Uh, you know, it, it, like it's a gala, gala, gala. <laughs> Some people name Carla, right? But this is Carla. Carla. I don't have anybody have that name, but what it's talking about here, it means to you know to parch. You know, you know, roast something like you 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 roast like you have a, having a fever. You hot. <laughs> they say you're roasting with fever, right? That means you're hot. No, no rest. But they leave it. Okay, loathsome. You're hot. That's what the word here. 
call uh, it is it, it is cough um cough lamed and he and this word my brother my sisters what is saying here is like a person is roasting with fever it's like you you into a walking into a desert and it is so dry and you are feeling it in, in a way that it make you hallucinate okay and and, and 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 so what is trying to tell us here is that when we do things that do not bring glory to Yahuwah, my brothers and my sisters, you can't be happy. You feel dry. You feel loathsome. Loathsome, my brothers and my sisters. You parch, you roast. This, it comes from another primitive root, is to identical with Kala, through the idea of shrinkage, like you know, the heat makes things shrink. Okay, there are some, there are some, um, there are some plants that when when the heat comes up and the sun and it's real hot, they just Close, you know, they like they close. And when you look at them, you look like they they're dying. But as soon as soon you go back, as soon as the sun or the heat is gone and the coolness come, they just start opening up. There are some plants in the daytime they close, they, 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 they they're not they don't work well with the heat, but. But when the coolness of the time come, they just open up. There are some plants, no matter how hot it is, it's still open. Still going. Unless something goes wrong with the root. Okay? But what it's saying here is that I gotta have a kind of a, a shrinkage. It's like you have a slice of bread. Right? And you look at it, it's just a slice of bread. But if you take it and you put it into the microwave, I mean, or into the, the toaster... It toasted is different. Come out, scorch like partially or, or slowly. Dried up. It's loathsome. It's parched. It's roasted. And in, in other words, that it, it, it become a base or it become become contempt, contempt or or you can even say despised, lightly esteemed. Nobody. Oh, you know, lightly esteemed. And, 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 and it, it seemed vile, you know. Come from a primitive root to be light, you know. No weight, just light. As, as implied in, 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 like, in a rapid motion. But figuratively, the, my brother, what they're talking about here is to hold in contempt. Base despise lightly esteem and and then and, and, you know everybody look at it they, they think you know you're a vile person and you you're not you don't even need people to tell you that the feeling that you're going through and i would imagine the feeling that david was going through that make him feel you know feel that bad and um I want you to notice here, my brother and my sisters, that he said, my, my loins are filled with lonesome disease. You know, man, can, can you imagine, and, and uh, I would think of um, Job's situation, right? When Job was going through all of, you know, in sickness, remember how sores came over his body. You know, his sick, he was in pain, right? And there, there's no soundness in him. 
like you said, yeah, there's no soundness in my flesh. And, and the word soundness here is a word meth home, meth home, meth home. And mem tav and mem again, meth home. And, and what it's saying here is that when you no soundness, no soundness, so everything's on flat. Every, if 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 you plant, if you ever plant, um, have a garden, right? And you have um, vegetable in there. Look, I'm gonna use a, use a pumpkin. I'm gonna use a pumpkin as an example. When when a pumpkin is well fitted, when I mean that's just ready to eat. I mean. Is ripe, right? Most times, if you let it stay there too long, the, the stem will kind of start drying up. But if you pick it, you know, when it's really full, you can take it and you could, you could um, knock it, hit it, you know, and you could feel it's not a flatness inside of it. You could just feel like a, like a, a drum, you boom, boom, you know, you could feel it. You know, and it's not as heavy as it is when it's not well fitted, when it's not ready to be eaten. Right? You can feel like that. I'll just use that as, as an example. Okay. But here, the, you know, the word um, mem and um, tav, I, I mean, I mean, I mean. Uh, and also, um, and also, mem again, right? And so, what happened here, my brothers and sisters, is that there is no soundness, methom, methom, no soundness. Um, you know, if you want to use the word wholesomeness, homes, home, like a wholesomeness, or it is soundness, no sound to it from. Tamam, wholesomeness also, you know, you know, if, if, if you ever, um, if you ever reading, you know, like, um, by using math, you know, after doing math, you know, you, you have a way of making, you know, it's reading math is, 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 it, it has a, it is is it, reading math is different from reading reading an article, okay? Because it's giving you instruction and all. Like for instance, if you're doing division, uh, you know what you got to do in division. You got to divide and multiply and subtract or add and and you know those kind of stuff, right? So and 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 then you look at the rules and then if you follow the rules and everything, you know it could come and look sound, you know. But somebody tell you something and then giving you the really run around and they you know you you they mix you up and it's like you're aggravating you right but when it when it gives you the truth and and, and, and the, the truth have no lies no error in it right and so it's sound like it's sound something sound sound you you as you hear it you know you can't tell whether or not it is mixed with a little lies or something, but it's just the, the real thing, okay? The real thing. But the, the word here, you know, also means to accomplish or to see, to so be clean or, you know, pass a test. It, something is consumed to have done or come to an end, okay? Right? And, uh, and so the, the primitive root here is to complete in a good sense or in a bad sense complete right literally or figuratively you know to accomplish or to cease be clean you know consume have done you know you have done what your word said you have to do and you feel good inside you know you feel like you have accomplished something positive you know but but it, it, you know, when you are doing the things that are not 
conducive and the things that are wrong. You, you know, it's like you come to the end of something and you fail. You're a failure. And you, and, and you know that. You, can, you could almost tell yourself that you, are, you fail. You, know, you ever take an exam? And you know, you, you, in your heart, in your mind, you know you didn't do good in that exam. You know that. You can't just say, well, okay, I'm fail. I, I flunked this one. You know? In our lives, the same thing. We, we, we put through the test. And, you know, has a time, have a way. And you know that when we put through the test. And it's right there, ready to jump, to sprawl us, and to make us do something. And as soon as you've done it, what he said, he just put it in your mind. Oh, yeah, you see? You, you just fail. You're a failure. You are a failure. My brother and sisters, Yahweh doesn't want us to be failed. He doesn't want us to be failure. He wants us to live our lives in full. He wants us to be able to accomplish the things that he set in us to accomplish. But if we have other things going on, you know, that crowding him out, you know, we're going to come to that place in our lives where, you know, we fail. And like David is saying here, there's no soundness in, the, in, the, in, in his flesh. No soundness, you know, because he's mourning and all of these different stuff that's coming on, you know, he spent his life, you know, doing things, at, at not, not his whole life, but, you know, he was not doing all things well. He was doing some things that are not perfect, that are not conducive, you know. He come to the full, and, uh, you know, and so he's, he's like, be all gone, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, you know, you know. Be all here, you know, but he wants to be made perfect. He wants us to spend, well spent, be spent, do the things that bring glory and praise to him. He wants us, you know, to show ourselves upright, you know, and he doesn't want us to be wasted away. He wants us, you know, to please him in everything we do. In everything we say. Praise be to his holy name. So he said. There is no soundness. In my flesh. My brothers and sisters. When was the last time. You. Sit down. And examine. Yourself. This and his word. And you can say. Wow. There is no soundness. There's no soundness in me. My throne. I, I can, can you say. There's soundness in me. Is a no or yes. Yes, there is soundness in me. In other words, if there's soundness in us, that means that we are doing exactly what Yahuwah said we are to do. This is what he said. For my loins are filled with lonesome disease. And he said, there is no soundness in my flesh. So my brothers and my sisters, we don't want We don't want us to stand in judgment for things that we know we shouldn't be doing. And if you make a mistake, you know, we need to be ready to go to Yahuwah and said, Oh Abba, yeah, I did it again. I went out of your will. I've done the things that I shouldn't have done. And give yourself to Yahuwah, my brothers and sisters, and trust him. And when you do that, Yahuwah is going to set you straight. He's going to make everything right for you. 
you got to make every my, my brother and sisters there are consequences for our misdeeds okay for my lines my loins are filled with a lonesome disease and there is no soundness in my flesh and Yahuwah want to bring your life to a place where there can be soundness in your flesh in your life and you live everything for him to give him glory and praise we're going to ask you my brothers and sisters to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the king. Shalom.